Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. We've got a lot of things to cover today. Um, and I need to get into to, to all of the issues as quickly as I can. Uh, some of this will be on our Patreon channel. Some of it will be here on uh, YouTube, uh, our iConnectFX.com platform as well, especially those things that are censored. And I'm not really sure about this one here, but you guys remember, and I, and I brought this up not too long ago, 4,000 Israelis stay home from work at the World Trade Center on that infamous day back in September of 2011. How did they get the notice? Why did they, how did they know not to be there? It was very strange events that took place there. And yet again, again, I, I shared with you just a few days ago, these images right here, how Turner had put out on his radio show, Word on the street in New York City is that busloads of Hasidim are going to their summer bungalow cottages in the Catskill region of New York State. That's about 90 minutes of New York City. What makes this a red flag is that these bungalow colonies are shuttered for the winter. And these folks don't go up way until spring breaks for sure. No concern, where there's no concerns of snow, of course. So the word on the street is the two main families have decided to move the young still in the studies or not married out of the New York City due to the possibility of extreme escalation with the things going down in Europe, Russia, Ukraine. Now that's what the issues are, are being stated. Well, <clears throat> I kind of stumbled on this. Let me just say it like that. I stumbled on the information. I already knew that there was a new risk, a new elevated risk of the dirty bees. You know what I'm talking about. Those uh, radioactive dirty bees there that they track. And I don't even know if you can say it without <laughs> causing somebody a red flag, right? Uh, but anyway, and I'm just going to kind of play this video in the background. It's just more of a uh, company there uh, that had li gotten licensed to be able to detect radiation from uh, thwarting the uh, threats of nuclear terrorism. And... Um, and so, yes, they're, they're, uh, they're, of course, not using cell phones, of course, of course, but there are advanced technology that the U.S. has to be able to track uh, those types of devices anywhere in the world. And sadly enough, I knew that, well, I shouldn't say sadly enough in the first part I'm speaking about, but I knew that there was a renewed threat of that type of uh, weaponry, dirty bombs, being used uh, here in the United States. And of course, I saw, when I saw the issue with New York, I thought, wow, gosh, uh, that must be that this is why the uh, Hasidic community is evacuating the Orthodox Jews, or at least the young and stuff, and sending them to the Catskills. Somebody knows, once again, just like they did on 9-11, the World Trade Center, get the Jewish people out of New York, don't go to the uh, World Trade Centers or anything like that because there was a threat. Well, if you're getting that type of knowledge in advance, that tells me somebody on the inside knows what's going on, and that might let you know just who may be responsible for this, right? So let's take a look at the maps here. Don't want to call any names. We're going to come back to Venezuela here a little bit later. But you know, there is a country in this region of the world right here that is known to be able to do false flags. And oddly enough, uh, when we look at that, uh, those false flags are a real threat right now. And they're a real threat specifically to a particular city. And let me just take you to that city right now because it's been picked up on the radar that it's being moved around in this area right here. And why they're not doing something about it is beyond me. They know there's one there. They know it's being moved around. So somewhere in this vicinity here, we've got a very serious problem. A very serious problem. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's just the facts about it. Now, I have a feeling that will help cause the American public to back any decision that the Biden administration makes in doing a war to fight against uh, 
the people or to fight against Russia in Ukraine. And we're going to be going into Ukraine. You'll want to see the issues that we're going to talk about when it comes to Ukraine. Because Ukraine, we're going to be getting into another video on that there. Yes, there were two Russian transport uh, planes that were shot down, were not shot down by Ukrainians. All right, I'll go into that in a separate video. But as of right now, they want to justify that war there. Because after all, it was Yanukovych, who was the, uh, the official elected president of this country, was ousted by a neo-Nazi uh, coup d'etat and was replaced with a pro-Zionist-backed puppet government. Yeah, I, I, I had to say it. You have to understand. I care about my people that live here. And when I say my people that live here in Israel, I care about the everyday Israeli. I care about the Jewish people that just want to live in peace. But we have a thug government that is not true Israelis. And they're trying to run the entire planet. And of course, they will stop at nothing to do nasty little deeds. And so right now, I can tell you that in that locale, the technology that we use has picked up one of those dirty bombs. And it's there now. Nothing. Well, I shouldn't say nothing is being done. Uh, that would not be a fair assessment. But what could be done is not being done. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live in a world when there is no peace. Ain't shalom. There is no peace. Good day.